answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be you. The world awaits to receive you. If you thought you knew somebody, and then you find out that it was all some bullshit. And you like, God damn. You just sat here, ran through my whole motherfucking life just lying like a bitch. I have a new enemy. And it's an immediate threat. It's a, it's a... Somebody said that they had put a witch on me. And I thought it was one person. Then I thought it was another person. But we done found out who the fuck it was. And we got confirmation last night. I'm not going to say that person's name. I will only talk about this on the DallaWTVNetwork.com. Available on Roku TV if you have one. What I will say about this individual is that it's a female. Who identifies as cisgender. And happens to be lesbian. Somebody asked me to talk to this person. And I said I can no longer do that. Because I don't fuck with I don't fucking talk to witches. See. See, once I find out that you are done, it, it is confirmed that you involved in that wicked shit. I can't talk to you no more. I, I can't. So I cannot say her name. I can't I can't do that. But I will be talking about it on the DallaWTVNetwork.com. I'm going to address it in a journal. I'm going to have to do a special journal today. I'm going to do it this afternoon. To let y'all know who my new target is on this shady ass shit. It's going to blow y'all motherfucking minds when you come to Dallas and find out who the fuck it is. The witch that they put on me. gonna fuck y'all up but what I will say is is this and I hope this person is watching and listening since they ignore my phone calls cause I I, I I sent you a text message and said happy new years at midnight I ain't get no fuck if you say you mad about me because I talk to other bloggers that don't like you I still sent you you supposed to be my little sister so I still sent you a happy new years and what the fuck did you do you didn't even fucking respond you ain't respond, yo. I text you again this morning because I knew you was alone. And, and, and I knew you was out by yourself. And I knew that you missed your ex-girlfriend who is now currently happy with another bitch. On vacation. Happy than fuck. And you know, you ain't even respond. I said, good morning, sweets. How you doing? Just checking in on you. And you ain't respond. I called you four fucking times. And my shit goes straight to voicemail. You was the one that fucking wigged out on me. I ain't wigged out on you. You're fucking weird, yo. And I already know you probably trying to plan some slick shit. So I want you to know this person whose name I will not speak of. I'm going to call you MG. You are now content. See, in Philadelphia, when you run afoul of a citizen of Philadelphia, you go on trial. You know that we, we, we do it like they did the, uh, the witches of Salem and shit. We're gonna put you through a fake ass trial because we already think you're guilty and then we're gonna burn your ass at the stake, witch. You fucking coming to my life? 
fucking love you, I fucking look out for you, and you gonna fucking bring that shit in my motherfucking life, you gonna put my name in a motherfucking job, bitch. I got some brick dust for your motherfucking ass. I got some dust for you, some magic dust. Dollar WTV Network.com. Also available on Roku. I don't stump for no fucking hoes. I ain't never been a trick. And I don't talk to no fucking witches. Bitch, you put my name in a motherfucking jar. This bitch put my name in a motherfucking jar. that shelter and got her out of that abusive environment the mermaids are impeccable the mermen or the sharks are impeccable people and I encourage you and I implore you to support Marley Green I believed in Marley Green in Marley Green so much I called up a friend of mine who was one of the original producers for the Wendy Williams radio show in Philadelphia his name is D. Lee Comedy from Comedy Central I said D. Lee 
this girl got something and her name is Nosy Ho. He was like, that shit wild. I'm like, yeah, ain't it? She's fun. She's amazing. I said, Dee I think she has that Wendy Williams factor. I think she can be the, the future of celebrity gossip talk. I was the one who suggested that Marley Green turn her show from gossip to celebrity news. Am I not, baby? Didn't I say? Now she want to sit online and she want to defame my marriage. Honey. Honey, please. I know, but please, for me. Can, can y'all see my husband? Not really. We're driving so he can't get too much in the camera. Let's just, let's just be honest with the folks. There's a recording that she has of me. Talking about cheating on my husband. That shit bothers me on so many levels. Honey, have I been honest with you about that situation? Did we have it out about that situation? Yeah, that's why I ain't got no voice. Yeah. He screamed behind this situation for about, I don't know, seven hours. I damn near lost my voice, wasn't able to sing in my own show last night, not that it mattered. Thanks, honey girls, bitch ass nigga. And you ho, Carl Thomas, stop slapping on them dicks, my nigga. He can't help it. Oh, he got shit in his thing, my fault. He been, he, he, he been, he been fucking bowing down to honey so back, long. Back to this bitch. I'ma let my husband speak for a second. I'm done. No, no, baby, I'm speak. not speaking. On your behalf. I'm not speaking. I said I'm done. We was good to you, Marley. We were good to you, Marley. He can't even look in the camera because his heart is so broken, Marley. You fell for the fucking bait, nigga? What, baby? You fell for the fucking bait and switch, you dumbass? You fucking dummy? See, the truth is, I was trying to make my husband jealous. Almost worked. It was all of this stress from this this situation, this transparency campaign. It has put a lot of stress on my marriage. And my husband, he ain't perfect, but he been a G, and he's held me down every step of the way. It's been frustrating at times. And y'all know I have a history with being unfaithful. So coming at that aspect to hurt me. It was a smart move, bitch. But see, you forgot something. I'm completely transparent. Me and my husband talked about it before this bitch dropped it. Oh, and just to be clear, Marley, you know you done had that recording for about a month. It must have been burning your ass up to have that good fucking, that, that good recording of me saying all that shit to you. I mean, because you do anything for a click and a view on my name, Marley Green. 
a third of your content has my name on it as a thumbnail. I've made you a shitload of money. I was trying to make you more. I, I put you in touch with, gave you the the number to the producer that made the Wendy Williams show what it was, your idol. I tried to set you up for greatness. But you a low hanging fruit bitch. Ho. My anniversary is January 6th. And you know that. Ho. And you dropped this shit on New Year's. Just to fuck up my anniversary. Ho. Said push me. She wanna join. I motherfucking done nothing for you, bitch. But help you. With your whole ass. It breaks my heart to even talk about this like this. To talk about you like this. Cause I love you still. But you a witch, bitch. And we gon' unpack your whole shit tomorrow On the Keeping It A Bean podcast Only available on DallasWTVNetwork.com And also available on Roku The very fucking panel that you were invited to be a part of And now this same panel is gon' fucking talk about shit Content, bitch fucking disappointment, Marley. But just like your boss, I got you first, bitch. I know you're working for Jay-Z, Marley. I know that's why you kept pumping me for information to see what I would tell you about Karen White. You've been trying to push that Karen White motherfucking email on me for years, bitch. And I never fucking talked about it. But I'm going to talk about it all tomorrow on the Keeping It A Bean podcast with Jaguar Wright and Panel, which no longer includes you. After you tried to sabotage the first tape, man. You said that I was clout chasing you. How, bitch? Go on my YouTube page. Your name ain't all over my motherfucking thumbnails. But if I go all over your podcast, my name is all over your thumbnails. You done made money off me. I let you talk to my son, yo. Called you family, yo. Stayed up with you all night on the phone when you were suicidal because you ran your only good girlfriend that you had, Ashley, the fuck off. I want to kill myself. I, and she doesn't want me. And, and, she doesn't, and she really doesn't want me. And she need to leave me alone. And I'm just going to be with that fucking basic bitch because fuck her. And I'm going to ruin her life. Uh, I can't believe she left me. Oh my God, she lied to me. Uh, she did me so wrong. I would have done you wrong too if all you did was treat me like a trick. Just like you taped me, I taped you, ho. And it's only going to be available on the DallaWTVNetwork.com and Roku. Molly Green, you and I have unfinished business, ho. Guess what? Me and my husband talked about all this shit. We just ate a half a dozen oysters, had some seafood. We finna pop some Molly and get the fuck on. In a beautiful hotel suite. Who the fuck home with you other than Mary Jane, bitch? Who you got other than Mary Jane? You fucked it off with Sirius and Sirius was the shit. I told you, you need to lock Sirius down. 
But I guess you got fucking issues with, you know, intimacy. Considering all you do is demean human beings for a living. Maybe you just don't know how to be good to people. How? You ain't ruined shit over here. All you did was make us stronger. Honey, let me let me not speak for my husband. I'm gonna let my husband speak for himself. I said I'm talking, ain't nothing to say about a nosy ass hoe. Happy 2023, everybody. DallasDallasTVNetwork.com. Yeah, boy. Nosey old live, where the vessel resides. Nosey old live, bitch, you about to lose your fucking channel. Where the mess he gonna reside then? When I take your channel. Not that anyone will be watching after this. <laughs> I knew I couldn't trust you after you called me after you accused me of, of cloud chasing somebody that has I don't know 85% less followers than me but I'm cloud chasing you huh why don't you call that fake lawyer and ask him what your chances are against me you know the lawyer that went on Armand's show talking about he was going to represent you against Nicki Minaj, who's not your attorney of record, who was a plant for Nicki Minaj to get you to give her information so he could convince you to not sue her. It's funny. You told me, Marley, you, you told me that Jennifer's lawyer was representing you in your case against Nicki Minaj. That's not what Jen told me. Now I see why you didn't want me to talk to Jennifer Huff. Because Jennifer Huff would have told me the truth. You've been lying to me, Marley Green. You ain't want me and Jen to talk. But that's how you are. Because when you and Ashley broke up, you called me a million times to tell me nothing but bad things about her. To tell me to abandon her like you abandoned her. I'm her sponsor. I can't, ab I can't abandon an alcoholic that I sponsor. And she tried to warn me about you. But that's okay. Me and Ashley are good. I don't think you're going to be after this love. I'm sorry. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different.